Hello, welcome to my first challenge video. Um, this is going to be a addition maths challenge. Now I gave you um, some really simple problems in week two, um, like this one here, and I'm just going to work it out because I think you've probably got pretty good at these. Main thing I do, of course, as always, is make sure my columns are perfectly lined up. So I have thousands, hundreds, tens and ones. That's going to be really important in today's lesson. I'm going to remember to put my addition symbol and 7 plus 8 is 15, 6 plus 3 is 9, plus 1 is 10, 9 plus 1 is 10, plus 2 is 12, um, 4 plus 2 is 6, plus the 1 is 7. There we go, that was pretty simple. Now, what if I changed the problem slightly? What if it wasn't 4,267? Um, what if the number was 4? Um, four hundred and twenty-six point seven. So it's got seven tenths in there, and I was adding to that um, two hundred and ninety-three point eight equals. Well, I think you could probably realise that actually this is going to be pretty similar so far. So let's add them together. So I've got again four hundred and twenty-six point seven. 293.8 plus symbol line underneath. You'll notice it actually looks identical to the previous problem because I've got my hundreds, my tens, my ones, and now my tenths all crucially together in their columns. 7 plus 8 is 15. Don't forget my decimal point. Big extra thing I have to remember here. Um, 6 plus 3 is 9 plus 1 is 10. Um, 1 and 9 is 10, plus 2 is 12. 4 and 2 is 5, plus 1, uh, sorry, 6, plus 1 is 7. And you'll notice my previous problem was the answer was 7,205. And this problem is 720.5. Same digits, different answer. Ah, but I said this was going to be a challenge, so I'm not done yet. Because what if the problem was this? 42.67 plus, and I believe the other one as it was, 293.8. Now what's going to happen at some point is we're very tempted to do this. Uh, this is going to be wrong, by the way. Now, if I add these together, I'm going to get the wrong answer. And the reason I'm going to get the wrong answer is because I haven't got my columns right. This is my tens column, but it's got 200 in it. This is my ones column, but it's got a 90 in it. So the crucial thing I have to do, and I'm going to do it over on this side, <coughs> is to line up my columns perfectly. So if I put 42.67, which is fine, then I've got my tens, my ones, my decimal point, my tenths and my hundredths. That's fine. But then when I add the number 293.8, well, I need a hundreds column. So I've got 200, the nine tens, 93 ones, the decimal points now line up perfectly, and I put in my eight tenths. I've got no hundredths on this number. When I look at this question, I've got no hundreds over here, and I've got no hundredths over here so they're not going to line up perfectly but that's fine because I can still do my addition problem because firstly let's put the decimal point in the answer so I know it's going to have to have that decimal point lined up um, seven hundredths plus no hundredths is seven hundredths if I wanted to I could put a zero there it wouldn't change the number um, six tenth plus eight tenths is fourteen tenths so I put in the four and I carry the 1. 3, 4, 5, 6. Um, 9 and 4 is 13. 2 and 1 is 3. So there's my answer. 336.47. And actually, when you think about the problem, if we go back to the question, I'm adding 40 to 290. Well, if I add 40 to 290, I get 330, don't I? 
look how little bit of approximating and rounding shows me how close my answer is. So when I have 42 plus 293, I'm going to get really close to here. And the 0.67 and 0.8 changes the answer slightly. So why not have a go at creating your own four-digit numbers, but then playing about with where you put the decimal point. You can start easy by having the decimal point in the same place on both numbers, and you can get harder by moving the decimal point on different numbers. Have a go, show me, and let me know. Um, as always, keep learning.